Jay Gurdev. Dear Guruji, I would like to get a deeper understanding about our human emotional and behavioral setup. Now, with this crisis, many people feel challenged and in some it brings out a rather destructive behavior and families and business partners <coughs> fight over things. Do we all have a personal shadow that we need to overcome? And when people attack me verbally, how can I behave most beneficial to maneuver through a situation like that, given that I can just withdraw from that person? Yes, it's a beautiful question. During this crisis, how to take care of the emotional behavior? Easily people react. I hear in many different places also, lot of domestic violence, particularly in many countries, violence against women or violence against, you know, who is uh, economically or, mm, you know, politically less powerful. It's very interesting how we, you know, express our emotions. We have to go very deep into this topic. It's not about this crisis at all. The crisis, the situations, shows so many things which was kept under the carpet. <laughs> Say, we take it like this. We lock Frank into this room. This room is very beautiful room, comfortable room. We lock him. For first 30 minutes, he will enjoy the furniture. He will be thankful. After that, he will get panic. He won't get out of this room, even though this is comfortable room. We can complain him that You know, this room is very beautiful. He should not break the door. He must learn how to enjoy this room. He will keep on knock. We can give new TV, new movies, new meditation techniques. We can teach new yoga every day. We can teach some mantra. We can teach some tantra. We can teach new, you know, concepts, new techniques, how to center himself, close his eyes, and to feel calm inside this locked room. We can keep on entertaining him with a new technology, new theories, new spiritual practices, We can keep on entertaining him. The need to entertain him is there. It's very important to know there's a need to entertain him is there. He need to be entertained. Once the entertainment is over, when the movie is over, he'll recognize the door is still locked. Room is still locked. He will knock the door. He say, I want to get out of this room. We teach him new meditation. Close your eyes. Meditate. But after 15 minutes, he open his eyes. 
the door is still closed. <laughs> Reality is the same. But he didn't react over the reality which he lives in during these 15 minutes. But reality didn't change. You, you get it? So when he opened the eyes, still the room is locked. Again he knock. We teach new rituals, new mantras, new tandras. But after that, again it starts. Constantly Frank need to be entertained. By the time this entertainment stops, Frank, Frank get restless. He get panic. That's how we all function so far. The room is locked. Can we complain about Frank? Why he is getting panic? Why he behaves like this? No. Since the room is locked, or since he is locked inside the room, his Panic also natural. That panic is belongs to the locked Frank. Not the Frank who is free. It's very, very important to know. The panic is belong to the locked Frank. But if this Frank is standing outside the room, not being locked. And he is in totally different situation. He no need to be entertained. There's no any panic. So no need to be entertained. It's very important to understand this. The emotions, the fluctuations, many diseases, many situations we are going through, is all belongs to the Frank under captivity. Frank who is in the cage, not belongs to the Frank who is free. Now, how to approach Frank? Where to heal? How to heal Frank? To entertain him or free him from the, his captivity? There are two kind of teachings in this world. One is how to entertain this Frank to be happy. Accept everything. The name of karma. Accept everything and meditate and pray. In next life, he will get a better room. <laughs> you know, a better <laughs> cage. Can we say that? Can we justify that? Or we teach him how to break this door to get out from this cage so that he no need to be entertained. Yes, he no need to be entertained. You no need to be entertained. You are naturally peaceful naturally in love, naturally creative, naturally free, naturally graceful. This is your natural quality, a humanity. That's a beautiful humanity. Since culturally, religiously, 
socially we are all locked <laughs> in our mind it's very important to know lock is not outside anymore we have created this concept of life how the human life supposed to be and we present ourselves within our cultural and religious understandings and we locked ourselves this is what how life is and in that understanding in that perception in that belief we are all suffering we are all not natural anymore at all in a way we are not even experiencing our human nature all so many emotions so many issues we are issues we are uh, you know uh, we are facing is all belongs to how we perceived this life how we structured how we you know organized how our human life supposed to be correct according to something naturally no one is happy we are one more species in this planet among all other species our life in this planet is a totally different experience the life of the human species are the life of the citizen who belongs to something two different life me as a living species a human species who lives in this planet or me who belongs to any religion any culture any political understanding any social identity life is different there's one domesticated part of me other one is natural part of me as long as i live this domesticated life my anger my aggression my disappointment excitement so many things are natural it is natural to the domesticated being not because now we we go to the go to a question we say during this crisis people are behaving differently now we compare this question with the you know primary understanding of we as a natural species natural being who are domesticated what we do since we are not naturally living or we are not living as a being level it's very important to understand this term living being living being which is not wrong or right according to any references is just live non practicing just living flow of life there is no any culture is practiced there is no any religion 
our social condition is practiced even their so, so called sense of me is practiced non practice just to be part in the flow of life is totally different state of being which is our natural state from that we are named we are you know we are we are totally created the way we are now due to this there is a constant emotional waves up and down happy sad angry sad disappointment appointment is keep on constantly it goes on what we normally do we do so many activities to balance this fluctuations drinking coffee go to restaurant go to movie uh, you know go for concert go for sports uh, we keep on entertaining ourselves the locked frank need to be entertained otherwise there is no need. life experience life is not taking place so that he need to be artificially entertained constantly entertained constantly engaged so the society function economy functions culture function religion function business is as usual everyone have their role to entertain this locked frank everyone is happy <laughs> you know the technology is here we give a new a tv for you now you can watch a big movie don't have to come out of your room internet will say now you have a even faster internet you don't have to wait for anything pharmaceutical to say you have better medicine you will not have get back pain you are, you don't have to move you understand <laughs> you can live without pain without even moving you eat this medicine but guru may say chant this or do this and that do this rituals and you will be better off <laughs> will be better inside this locked room as long as you close your eyes and meditate everyone is entertaining this frank how long he need to be entertained is this is the nature of frank if this is the nature of this frank nature of the human who need to be entertained externally then this birth is a curse but i don't see it is like that he is constantly entertained normally we are all entertained entertained different different ways this fluctuation is expressed different different ways and entertained in different ways okay, do you understand feel dull feel frustrated feel angry feel disappointed appointed uh, feel sad feel happy it's all you know when this experience comes we respond oh i go for a movie i go to shop to buy a dress when i feel nothing is happening in my life nothing is reaching me when i look at the cloud something need to move inside me something need to dissolve in me when i look at the rainbow something must dance inside of me but it's all not happening i feel numb 
When I feel nothing is happening, I go for shopping. I feel good when I get something towards me. I go to restaurant, I feel good to eat something. I'm bringing something towards me. Something is happening to me. I have so much anger. And when there's a reason, when I find a reason to fight outside of me, this anger is entertained. I can express this anger. I can create an opposite to fight against. Or I can make something good to fight for. I'm entertained through everything. But now, this situation stopped those entertainment. <laughs> we can say it in that way. Do you understand? This situation, you know, holding, taking break, giving break from that entertainment. It doesn't mean Frank is free from the prison, from the, you know, cage. He is not free from the cage. But what happened? The entertainment is stopped. So naturally, he don't know how to handle these emotions. Normally, whenever this emotion comes, we go out. And we express in different, different way. There's a disappointment. We don't know from where this disappointment come. We don't look at it and claim, uh -huh, the natural being, the true me is disappointed. The way this life is lived. The way I experience this life is not true to me. It's not belongs to me. It, it is not natural to me. We don't recognize that. But deep inside, we know something is missing. Something is not okay. And we don't know what is not okay. Because the story is the Frank born in the cage itself. <laughs> Since he is born and brought up in the cage, he doesn't know what freedom is. But as a natural state of being, this being is aware. It's not meant to born in a cage. It's meant to born into this life. You are not born into a race. You are not born into a political system. You are not born into a religion or culture or tradition. You are born into life. But suddenly, we got surprised, oops, actually, I, you know, I'm not born into this planet. I'm born into a country. I born into a boundary. I born into a perception. No, I no, no, born into an ideology. There's a lot of different. Think about the rabbit. No, the rabbit is born. Suddenly you say, "Hey, you are a Christian." <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> you say you are a Christian. You, you belong to this religion. <laughs> or you belong to this country. You are the citizen of this country. This is your tax number. This is your name. This is what you are going to behave. You are a male. You have to use the blue pant. A female, you say pink. The rabbit will be in trouble. Then the rabbit will ask, when I will be enlightened from this? Enlightened from this 
domestication. Freedom from this domestication. The question is very beautiful question. Is open up every question. We believe due to this Christ. Many people are emotionally, you know, unbalanced. Isn't it? We don't know how to express these fluctuations. No. Normally, we entertain our emotions. We don't meet them. In a way, we entertain them differently. through substitutes, through food, through sex, through cinemas, through uh, or, you know, sports or shopping, fighting for, fighting against. We substitute, we express these feelings collectively, different ways. And we always find the way to, you know, coin the opposite. There's a disappointment arises. We don't know we are disappointed on what. But we know we are disappointed. Then we can say, I'm disappointed on this political system. At home, maybe father, the school teacher, in the temple is a priest, in the street is a president. We are disappointed. We are disappointed about something. We project the problem on someone. Maybe they are doing wrong. But if you notice, all these people are keep on changing. But our disappointment is permanent in a way. Is it it? Every time the leaders change, our disappointment continues. The approach is the same. Today, we mock, we laugh, we criticize, we fight against this one. Tomorrow, we do towards the next one. Because the problem is not what we project. The problem is how we as a human species happen to structure our life, conditioned our life. domestic violence during this time. You know, people may go to alcohol shop or bar and pubs. He express this. Now, we don't have that way, you know, that possibility to become passive By taking alcohol, we become passive. We go to discos the weekends, dance aggressively. So the accumulated energy is expressed. We believe we are dancing, we had a good time. But actually, the whole week you are accumulating and weekend you are releasing.
Now we don't have the ways to release it. We are not able to release or become passive through alcohol or release it through a sports or forget our own story by seeing movies, <laughs> by saying, you know, isn't it? Yeah. We are totally engaged outside. There's no any inner engagement takes place. This situation, this engaging outside is disturbed. So naturally, it will turn into negativity because you have to express it. We have to be careful during this time. On domestic violence, physical and verbal. Because now it's a it's a kind of you know culture. We express towards one whom we see as weaker than us. I also hear many domestic violence against women during this period. No, they don't, many cultures, many countries, the male go to drink. Now they get panic. Then they, you know, express this anger towards the children, towards the wife. We do in different ways, in different culture. Not necessarily belongs to one culture or one country. We have to become aware. Take this as an opportunity. Not blame others. Not creating opposite. Because of this person, I feel like this. Due to this reason, I feel like this. No. Come closer to you. Get to know. Did I feel like this? Fever also. Every year, new people, new uh, reasons we have. But the experience may be the same. It's a great opportunity to confront this entertainment so that you can be free from this entertainment. Now, nothing is entertaining you. You can be left alone without a company. People who lives in front of you, next to you, we may project they are the reason for you to feel the way you feel. But not necessarily so. Previously you expressed this disappointment in the street. Now you are not allowed to go out much. So you have to express it. Do you understand? Towards each other. Now we have to be aware. Our awareness needs to be, you know, implemented. Very, very important that the person who is in front of you is not reason 
for the way you feel it now the cup is already full every drop comes is overflows cup is already full every new drop overflow spill it isn't it so we reason this drop is responsible for the overflow <laughs> we don't see the cup is already full not because of this drop you feel the way you feel no the cup is already full and every person every situation you go through in this moment you see like this the cup is already full and every drop feels too much and you blame this drop as responsible but cup is already full is a time to empty the cup the time to look into the cup how much we are full how to start where to start not blaming not blaming the family or the people who are living you are immediate do you understand yes surroundings at this point of your life this point of the humanity we have to take each other we have to express our love and care towards each other and that is the greatest power we get immune also we get we can't be mentally physically weakened we can't allow our old condition to weaken our body at this point because we have to develop our own system healthy system internally you know internally physically and mentally so become aware this is a time to transcend every situation come every emotion comes transcend that emotion look deep inside and at least now we don't project this outside but look inside and transcend it the more and more you are able to transcend and more and more you will be untouched unweakened become immune Thank mm-hmm. you.